Hey guys, welcome back to Three Layers Deep. So it's been crazy long since I uploaded a video regarding favorites, um, but I did find several things that I've been using lately or that I have been using for a while and I just really, really, really like. Uh, so, so the first one being my Physician's Formula, uh, the mineral wear, the talc-free mineral powder that I spoke about um, in a recent video. Okay, so that's what it looks like right there and it's the mineral powder from um, Physicians Formula. This is my absolute favorite. And to, and to prove to you guys that I love it, this is my old one. This is the one I first showed you guys. Look, I hit pan, see that? And this is my new one. I purchased this maybe like a couple of weeks ago, okay? So yes. I am liking this. It has perfect coverage. It's medium. Uh, I would say like a complete medium coverage. Uh, you can get full coverage if you apply it over foundation. You'll have completely full coverage. But this is just enough coverage for me. Uh, the, product, the brush that I've been using, which is my next favorite, is this flat top kabuki brush from e.l.f. And this, bra this brush is absolutely dirty and it's three dollars from elf and it's perfect it's dense enough that it picks up a good amount of product but still very soft that it blends it into your skin so nicely so these two together i am these are my total faves right now the next product that i have been using for a while now. so i came across this milani uh eyebrow pencil and it's an automatic pencil and it's water resistant and this is what it looks like right here one end it has a spoolie which I don't really use because I have a regular spoolie that I tend to use all the time and then this is the brush at the, I'm sorry the the pencil at the end this one's natural taupe and this is a pretty good match for my eyebrows not completely but I fixed that with um, Oh, what is it from? From the Naked Palette. Uh, but one color I always use is Buck. And Buck with the Milani Brow Pencil gives me this brow right here. The pencil is nice and precise enough. Um, as well as it's not too waxy and it has enough pigment. Sometimes brow pencils can be too waxy and it does not transfer the color from the pencil onto your brow for some reason. Uh, but this one, the pigment is, is really nice and it has just enough wax where it'll adhere to your skin. And if you put a brow, um, a powder on top of that, it'll completely seal it and you'll have long lasting brows for the rest of the day. So I really do recommend um, this brow pencil from Milani. Sticking with the eyes, I just came across this uh, gel liner, but it's the e.l.f. cream liners. These suckers are pretty good. I have, oh shoot, I don't know what I did with the box, but I have the purple one. I think it's called eggplant. That's what it looks like. It looks a lot more vivid and blue on the camera, but it's really not. I'm actually wearing it right now that's what it looks like and I like it I love that it's so super super creamy it is so super creamy like as creamy as a cream shadow it is so awesome I use I apply it with um, this brush right here and I got this at Coastal Scents like a few years ago um, I just feel like this gives more of a precise line and I just tend to kind of go with this one uh, But it's super duper creamy The only cons that I have would be is that it's not as opaque on the first swipe So to get it as true to color I would I have to go over it two or three times But that is seriously no problem because it is so 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 smooth Oh my gosh I am so going to get the I think there's like two or three others uh, Just purely for the fact that they are so creamy Creamy, so easy to apply so easy to fix if you tend to mess up or whatnot so I'm totally digging that staying with the eyes is this brush right here this is um, a brush that I picked up that I purchased from Coastal Scents um, I would say like two or three years ago but it is 
very very soft and dense enough where it picks up enough color um, a good amount of color uh, but soft enough that it's not the the bristles are not stiff so you can actually go ahead and blend that color onto the lid so it covers a large amount of your lid with little effort I have been using this brush for the past maybe two and a half months this is the brush that I go to for my all over lid color my all-time favorite mascara, and I've spoken about this before, is uh, the uh, Rimmel Volume Flash Max Bold Curves. It's, ha it gives you extreme volume and a lift. So that's this one right here. Um, this is the one I actually have on today. You're not gonna be really, you're not gonna really be able to see it on camera, um, but it gives you a nice opened and flared out look uh, you can it's good to combine it with another mascara usually when I would combine it, I would combine it with the um, L'Oreal Voluminous the Voluminous uh, mascara these two give you a great great full long lash effect but today I decided to just go on its own and if you don't believe me see I have two tubes this was the old one I have to buy another tube it's getting kind of gunky um, but yes, I definitely recommend that mascara. As far as lipsticks, I have been gravitating towards these babies right here. These are called um, the L'Oreal Infallible Lipsticks. It's the one that uh, Gwen Stefani um, is the spokesperson for. And these are nice and long lasting. That's the package right there. I have several colors in these formulations. And this one has to be my favorite so far. I'm actually wearing it right now. This was called Charismatic Coral. It's pretty long lasting as long as you do not eat anything that's greasy or oily. And I ate a salad that had olive oil in it so it, helped, it kind of broke apart my lipstick. It kind of faded it a little bit. So I reapplied it around 12 and it's 3.30 right now. And this is what it looks like so far. It has a bit of a stickiness to it but not enough where it's gonna bother the crap out of you um, after a while it does tend to lose its shine although mine is still kind of shiny uh, but I do like these and I have to say out of all the ones I have I think I have four this is my favorite one It's called charismatic coral and again it's just it brightens up your face and it's just the perfect hybrid between a darker pink and a bit of coral mixed together so highly recommend but yes guys these are the products that I have been liking a lot uh, either I've just got them not too long ago or I've had them for a while and I just really these are the products I tend to reach out for anyway so again guys thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video God bless you bye